Ladies and gentlemen, it is no longer climate change within a tolerable range. A crisis is what it's about with fires, floods, as well as drought. Every week, a constant blast, far worse than seen in the past. If we must, we will adapt. Prevention, though, would be more apt. There is a cost to adaptation. It's rising fast in every nation. As well as for the world at large, this will be a heavy charge. In fact, we should all conclude, prevention would indeed be shrewd. It actually would cost much less and avoid a lot of stress. A uniform carbon tax would protect all our backs, collected by each nation state, but universal in its rate. All GAGs would be fair game. Every country should charge the same. The benefit that this would yield would be a level playing field. Competitors just wouldn't care because the system's very fair. Just how high should this tax be? A range of numbers we can see. But $60 per metric ton would surely get reduction done. For carbon, this could be the rate. For others, we would calibrate the appropriate rate we would select based on the greenhouse gas effect. Based on today's emissions rate, quite candidly, I should state, it wouldn't be a trivial sum, but there's no reason to be glum. In dollars, it would be two trillion. It's a lot, but not a zillion. Compared to global GDP, the percentage is less than three. Compared to taxes, then again, the percentage is less than 10. Of course, some would then take a call to reduce emissions, not pay it all, but bear in mind it's not a cost. For the economy, nothing's lost. A UBI could be instated. Some other tax could be abated. And if this is indeed just so, the economy would still grow. Don't you think it's very nice that there is hardly any price? And very little would be lost as adaptation has a higher cost. In the Godrich group, it is seen that our goals of good and green, though ambitious, will be done. Sustainability can be won. And so without partiality, our goal for all's neutrality. Whether water, carbon, or solid waste, by 2020, we will make haste to make our net emissions zero. Will this make the group a hero? In 2010, the goal looked tall, but we took a reasoned call. Technology would save the day. So far, it has turned out that way. As technology takes a leap, green energy gets very cheap. Keen observers quickly saw that solar also tracks Moore's law. Whether groundnut shell or bagasse, our India's full of biomass. At first, we thought we'd have to spend, but that's not true, for in the end, the more we thought, the more we slave, we did invest, but we also saved. And solar is still getting cheaper. And as we do start digging deeper, in India, it will hit the goal of being cheaper than even coal in just a handful of years. Already, we and our peers are sourcing solar electricity at lower rates than from the utility. For quite some time, we've been extorted as their finances aren't still sorted. A silver lining can be seen since it incentivizes green. But in Maharashtra, just of late, the situation isn't great. Green energy buyers have been dazed as wheeling charges have been raised. Net metering comes at a cost. Thus, all the benefit is lost. Our dear CM, he's not here. This isn't fun. This kind of thing is just not done. Instead of being incentivized, green energy is penalized. The case, of course, is very clear. And yet, we are nowhere near any kind of good solution to end greenhouse gas pollution. Around the world, we would find so many leaders that are blind or perhaps not so benighted, but conveniently short-sighted. Why undergo any pain 
if by the time you get the gain, you will no longer be around. To politicals, this may seem sound. It's also hard to agree, since any gain we only see if we act collectively. What's obvious logically, therefore, may not come to pass. It's very sad, but true, alas. Though prevention is the best, if we can't rely on the rest, we can do some mitigation, but we'll still pay for adaptation. We hope that good sense does prevail. If not, we'll have to just avail of solutions to adaptation in our city and in our nation. Of course, it would be very wise to anticipate sea level rise. As extreme weather will be the norm, we must prepare for every storm. There will be big increases in all the tropical diseases. Good drainage will be a must, or else great floods will cause a bust. In climate change, as well as health, prevention can conserve our wealth. Prevention is much better than cure, so learn it now, or then endure the endless pain and aggravation of the heavy cost of adaptation. Thank you.